Okay. Thank you, Kareem. Following up on your comment that there's an alarming number of Republicans who are saying they're not going to accept election results. Does that mean President Biden thinks it is a threat to democracy if somebody votes Republican? No, that's a that's a ridiculous question. No. Why is that a ridiculous question? Because American people should have their right to vote for whomever they want. The voting is a sacred right. It is something that the president wants to protect at, at, at every turn. And he has done that. He's taken actions to protect the right to vote. And, uh, and you see uh, Democrats in Congress also doing the work to protect the right to vote. We are talking about mega mega uh, Republican officials who have been very clear about this, who, who say, who say, uh, you know, they are uh, pro-police, but then they are also pro-insurrectionists. That is, you cannot be pro-police and be pro-insurrectionists, who also say they want to defund the FBI. That's a problem. That is a problem that we are seeing, and who I've said have been very clear that they have, they have been very clear about pushing and peddling uh, the big lie, peddling dangerous conspiracy theory. And so that's what we're talking about. But the American people, have their, they have their right to make a decision on who they want to represent them, and they should be allowed to do so. Okay. In the context of calling out election deniers, then, is he going to call out Republicans that deny election results and Democrats that deny election it doesn't results? Ma- it doesn't matter if there's a D or an R after your name. Uh, he will call out any rhetoric uh, that is a poli- that, that leads to po- potentially political violence or that calls to political violence, for political violence. That is a problem. He, pr- the president has always, always condemned uh, political violence. It doesn't matter, again, if you're a Republican, an independent, or a Democrat. So President Biden thinks democracy can survive even if Democrats are not in charge of Congress. The president is optimistic. He is an optimistic, you know this, Peter, he is an optimistic person. And he understands that is majority of the Americans out there who do not believe in election, in, in denying an election, who believe in actually protecting our democracy. Uh, There are a majority of Americans who believe in strengthening our democracy, and that's what we see. But the president, as the president of the United States, he believes it is his it is his duty, is his responsibility to call out this rhetoric, and that's what he's going to continue to do. Go ahead. Thanks, Green. Um, On uh, the election in Brazil, has the U.S. have U.S. officials made any outreach to Bolsonaro to try and encourage him to accept the results of that election and, and part of that transition process? So I uh, don't have any calls to reach to read out to you on any conversation with uh, with uh, Bolsonaro, but we are glad to see that President Bolsonaro uh, acknowledged the results of the election and has allowed the transition process uh, to begin. The Brazilian uh, Electoral Authority has made the determination of who won the free and fair election, and that it, and that is President-elect uh, Lula. The, the will of the people of Brazil should be respected, and that's what we believe.